welcome friends to this final session of our two day event in toronto as i usually say i am very happy to see you i mentioned in the morning it's nice to be in canada the second happiest country in the whole world i read little more of the article now they have checked the level of knowledge of the average person in different countries and they have published the results of the top 10 countries in those top 10 countries they have checked the knowledge of 10 questions and found out given a percentage on each question separately how many of the average persons could answer those simple questions on science correctly congratulations canada came first so i'm doubly happy now <laughs> before i distribute prashad which i mentioned to you in the morning will be specially blessed by my master great master azur maharaj baba saavan singh i'd like to know if there is anybody in this audience whose birthday falls today if anybody has his birthday they can raise their hand there is one those who raise their hand when they come for prashad they'll get the normal prashad and one extra as my birthday gift I am very happy that you came here to find something. I gave you a message. A simple message of how to find everything, not something that you were looking for. Everything, including what is in this physical world and anywhere else. Just work on the simple principle. go with it every religion said this not religion founders of religion said this religion don't say that have you noticed that every religion said go within yourself truth is inside and every religion today is telling us to perform ceremonies and rituals outside missing the real point reality is inside the founders of religion found it inside they advised those who follow the religions to go inside and we find that what was the house of god in which we can find god is being hated by those very people who was following god and worshiping a building that we made doesn't matter if it's a church or a temple or a gurudwara or any other place of worship or a synagogue we are worshiping buildings made by us and very often not only hating destroying buildings in the name of the same god destroying the buildings in which god can be found and trying to worship in outside man made buildings this is quite a tragic event the religion whose purpose was to take us to the ultimate creator should be drawing our attention more outside that is why i have said study the scriptures no matter what religion you are in it's not only one scripture that says this all say this truth lies within not outside the real kingdom of god is inside not outside that is why if you can carry this simple message with you no matter what religion you belong to you'll be able to find the truth of your own religion you'll be able to find the truth of what your own religion's founders said read the original teachings 
of the religion that you follow. To follow a discovery of yourself, you don't have to change a religion. You don't have to change your nationality. Don't have to change your culture. Don't have to change anything. A very minor change is required just to show your seriousness for this quest. A very minor thing like can you follow a particular diet, a simple diet, simple vegetarian diet which makes going within easier? Can you do that? Some people say, you know, I would very much like to go to my true home. It's difficult to give up my steak. Difficult to give up my meat. They have no idea what true home is. If, if we are comparing what we get by meditation with simple things like what we are eating, we have no idea what we are getting. That is why, consider this. All the message I gave you today was what lies within us, which can all be found by meditation, simple rules to follow, and not put attention outside, attention inside. Some people have asked me, we belong to a particular religion. Those religions have some festivals, some ceremonies. Should we stop following them because we are going inside? I said, of course not. Follow all the festivities, all this. Go to the, go to your Gurdwara, go to your temple, go to your church, go to synagogue, go anywhere where you worship. If people worship pictures and statues, you worship God who's inside you, sitting right there. You don't have to change anything. If your family does not agree with what you are started doing, follow what the family says for outside peace. If you are not at peace outside in your household, not at peace at your business, not at peace in society, how can you concentrate your attention inside? Therefore, maintain whatever you are doing outside. It has nothing to do with your journey inside. It's a personal, private affair that you can walk inside and see what's inside. Nobody will know. I worked for 35 years in civil service. None of my people know that I follow a spiritual path. It's not something that's connected with our jobs or something. It's very personal. It's a personal relationship with somebody who's guiding us first from outside, then from inside. And we can find answers to all our questions. So please do not think, because certain societies have been formed, calling themselves spiritual societies. People change their religion in order to join societies. They make the society, calling itself spiritual, another religion. What's the difference? A person says, I used to go to Sunday Mass. I gave up because now I go to Sunday Satsang. I said, then do you meditate? Oh, not really. You don't get time for that. Where is the difference? He followed one thing outside, now it's following another thing outside. Continue to do what you're doing outside. Go inside along with it. The two things are not incompatible. They're very compatible. And as you will go inside, you will find the truth, the real truth of the teachings of your religion. It's a quite well, quite misinterpreted in so many ways. So that is why my last appeal to you is, there is no need to change your customary life. No need to change your religion, nationality, culture, or anything. This is not connected with any religion. The discovery of yourself is not connected with any religion. The only connection is all religions say find yourself. Therefore, finding yourself is not obstructed by your following the ceremonies and rituals of a religion, which are not the best way to find yourself, but it's a good way to maintain peace where you live. Therefore, uh, I am suggesting make it a personal, private thing to find what is inside you. 
Thank you very much once again and we'll now distribute prashad and take the prashad a puffed rice right what i don't see it okay whatever it is <laughs> i'll soon find out this speaker will go away i won't be able to tell you a little secret when you get the prashad it's a small little packet or something and if you find that it is getting less and you have no chance to get in the near future more prashad add the same thing more into that and shake it homeopathically <laughs> potentize the whole thing and then when you shake it you will never know which part of the original which was not that every part you eat will be prashad so that is why you can make it almost unlimited thank you very much <laughs>